this is a quick demo of RAGARC, which stands for RAG Architect. It is a RAG pipeline tester and code generator prototype. It basically allows users to try out uh, different parameters and different components that go into building uh, a RAG pipeline. You can uh, try out different combinations and permutations of uh, things like uh, the large language model, uh, embedding models, node parsers, response synthesis methods, and vector stores. And you can test this out on your own data and uh, you can see if the uh, query responses are what you would expect and if it suits your use case and once you're happy with everything you can finally choose to generate a python code for the end-to-end -end rack pipeline based on the configurations that you have chosen based on the parameter that you have chosen and uh, just one click and it will generate a python code which you can simply plug and play into your own application so just to try it out uh, let's uh, upload a file first i'm uh, uploading a pdf of my recent blog uh, you can choose to upload uh, different uh, file formats like text files json files html files and more next option is to choose uh, which llm to use for the rack pipeline so you can choose uh, gemini cohere 3.5 or uh, gpt 3.5 gpt 4 so let's go with gpt 3.5 for this case uh, next is the selection of which uh, embedding model to choose. Uh, I have included uh, some of the top uh, embedding models from uh, Hugging Face uh, leaderboard. For more information, you can uh, follow this link to the Hugging Face leaderboard. I'm going with the first option here. For the next selection, uh, you can choose uh, which node parser to use. So uh, I have included some of the uh, node parsers supported by Llama index. Uh, so the, this includes syntax, sentence splitter where you split by sentences, code splitter which is used for uh, splitting code uh, if you have uh, you know Python code or other kind of code and uh, other other similar parsers and splitters. So depending on the kind of uh, data that you're using and the use case at, at hand, you can uh, choose uh, from these uh, options. For more information on node parsers, you can follow this link. For now, let's choose sentence splitter. Also, one point to notice, uh, notice that below this section, you have a preview of uh, the first node based on the selected uh, node parser and what kind of chunk size and other parameters you've chosen you will see uh, a preview of the first node to just to give you an idea of what's happening with your data how it is getting split and how are the chunks been formed so if i try chunk size 50 you can see it has changed to a shorter amount of text for the first node uh, yeah so if i do 200 again it it will include a larger chunk of text this is just a preview of the first node, but a yeah, similar thing happens to all the nodes. Then uh, next option is to choose the response synthesis method. Again, here I've included uh, some of the response synthesis uh, options supported by Llama Index. Uh, again, for more information about response synthesis, you can follow this link. Uh, it includes refine, tree summarize, compact, and uh, all of these things are like different things will suit different use cases so you can follow this link and see which one works best for your use case now let's go with refine and final selection uh, i've included three options for vector stores one is simple in memory vector store next is spine cone or you can go with quadrant so for now let's go with simple <coughs> now once i click on generate pipeline uh, what this application will do is uh, generate uh, a user interface like a sort of a text input here which will allow us to <clears throat> test out end-to-end uh, uh, -end rag pipeline based on all these uh, parameters that we have selected so this uh, is ready now so we can try out some query let's ask it what is uh, what is the blog about So you can try out different things. Uh, uh, so it, it's, it's giving a good response. You can try out. So if the response is not good, if, if, if it's not something's not working, something's not fine, you can try out different things. You can try changing the LLMs, changing 
the response mode uh, from refine to maybe to summarize if you're trying to uh, summarize something and stuff like that so you can try out different things and suppose you are happy with the whole setup the configuration of the rack pipeline and you want to generate the code that you can use <coughs> to plug and play this uh, rack pipeline into your own application you can create uh, just click on this generate code snippet it will quickly generate the entire python code for uh, building this rack pipeline and you can simply copy and paste it in your application and then modify it as required now let's say <clears throat> if you want to change something say response mode if you want to change and suppose we want to change the node parser or, or say we want to change the uh, llm so let's try changing the llm and response mode <clears throat> so let's try select let's change it to gemini and let's try response mode let's try setting it to simple summarize and then if we generate the code now we will see that uh, the code has changed based on our selection right so you can see uh, it is gemini pro llm and no uh, response mode has changed to simple summarize so that's a quick demo thank you for watching